Hi, chat. Has he sung the map song from Dora yet? You're aware that I'm nearly 36 years old, right? I was not watching Dora the Explorer at age 15. I was watching this scene from X2 where Mystique comes into Wolverine's tent and says, I can be anything you want, and then transforms into Storm, and then transforms into Jean Grey, and then transforms into Rogue. And then I was hitting the previous chapter button on the remote control to watch it again as soon as it finished. What was your childhood show? Well, you know, your childhood lasts a long time. So I would say like, I mean, zero to five, Sesame Street, 100%. Apparently, I was watching a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the time as well, and the Power Rangers. And then, like, 5 to 10, I'm in that, like, that classic sort of, like, Gen 1 Nickelodeon era. So, like, Doug, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, and that, I... Hey, hey, chill. We kept it going, right? Because, like, you know, I probably watched kids' shows until I was, like... 13, 14 years old. So we get in a little bit of like rocket power, angry beavers type stuff. And that's about where I jump off. I jump off like right when pretty much coincidentally with like SpongeBob popping. Not because of SpongeBob. It was just like that. It just happened to line up coincidentally. Obviously, in hindsight, it probably would have been good for the industry I ended up being in to like Maybe just tough it out for another few years and watch a bunch of Spongebob. That way, like, I would understand half of what you guys talk about in chat. But that's not the way it went down at the time. I was like, okay. Six months ago was Rugrats. Now it's time to get into The Graduate. Now it's time to watch some John Cazale movies. Seasons one to three, just watch them right now. You've lost your connection with the real world. <laughs> I'm not going to watch three seasons of Spongebob Squarepants with any kind of haste associated with it. You have a kid? Everybody hates screen time until it's time to watch SpongeBob SquarePants, apparently. Make up your mind, is it a show for 28 year olds or is it a show for people that were born during like the fucking alpha wave of COVID? <laughs> She's more of like a, a trolls gamer right now as well. You gotta sing the map song? I'm just being real with you, Fuzzy Dice. Between this and the Dora the Explorer bit, I think it's possible you might think I'm 16 fucking years old. I was born in 1988. I don't know what the map song is. I had never watched epic rap battles of history, okay? I'm, it's the same bit. It's literally a Dora bit. Oh, it's the same. You're still talking about Dora the Explorer? I'm 30 and I know the map song? We went over this, man. 30 and knowing the map song makes sense. Because that means you were like fucking seven when Dora the Explorer was on TV. I'm sorry, but I went to school, you know, in the new metal era. My ass was not going to be the 12-year-old who's like, hey, other kids at school. I know like we've gone through puberty and we're trying to be cool and like signal to one another that we're all grown-ups. Did you guys see the Dora episode last night? Are you fucking crazy? I'd be getting my ass beat Monday through Friday, man. I didn't go to school in the in the 2010s where everybody was nice to each other. You had to fucking look out for number one. You know, you could watch shit without telling anyone at school. Why are you? Why would I want to watch Dora the Explorer though when I'm 13 fucking years old, man? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind, man. When you were 13, you were like, I can't wait to go home and watch Dora. 13. That's crazy, man. Yes? Holy. More like 15? All right, man, all right. It was good. But you're like seven years younger than me. So you can say that it's good because you were too young to have like, like you were in the target audience. Now you're 30, but we're not the same age because you're referencing a frame of reference that cemented itself in your brain when you were like seven. And I was 13, 14. We, we were, I was twice your age back then. Growing up is watching Dora and realizing Swiper was based. I don't know what in, what are you, I don't know what you're talking about. 
I do know that Dora says swiper, no swiping. I'm guessing through context clues that like he steals things and you and then he's like on the TV somewhere and Dora goes, what does it let me know if you see swiper and then you at age 15 were like, there he is, he's behind the tree. Is that, have I constructed? Have I reverse engineered your life and how you got to this sorry fate? That's fucking insane, man. That's, that's unbelievable to me. You had your learner's permit, you were doing that shit? Get off the road, man. I need to take a little break for a second. I was watching Dora age five. I plus two that any day of the week. When you're five years old, like, it seems like the right age. People are saying I watch it to learn Spanish. Okay, fucking Miss Hannah Minx watchers learning Japanese one word a week. Salad Dodger. <laughs> Can I say, this reminded me, I meant to tell this story like a week ago when it happened. Anytime we go to like the store um, and it has greeting cards, my daughter loves to spend like five minutes reading the greeting cards. So I, I pick up ones that look cute, right? You know, so there'll be like one with cats on it or something like that. And then I'll pick it up and read it. It'll be like, I hope you have an, an meowsing birthday or something like that. Some, some delightful little bone mo, A little cerebral for her, but she's starting to get it. We were doing this uh, maybe a week ago at the grocery store. Picked up one that had a pizza on it. The, the front of, I swear to you, this is 100% true. Front of the card, I was on autopilot. It said, I want a pizza. So I picked it up and said, hey, honey, look at this. I want a pizza. Opened it up, a pizza that ass. Said, when did the Hallmark Corporation get so fucking horny, man? I, th I thought it was safe. This shit was in like a grocery store. So then I opened the card. I read it not out loud. And then I just closed it and said, that's not a good one. And then like picked up another one that had like a dog on it or something. And it was like, raise the wolf. Have a great party. Don't forget to raise the wolf. And we were like right back to your scheduled programming, but... Heart and soul. It's got a lot of heart and soul. I don't know the rest of the words, but it's got a pretty good bass line, pretty good bass line, heart and soul. My wife is streaming Maja Monday's Pog. I'll send you right over to her stream. Hope you have a great rest of your Monday night. I'll see you tomorrow for Dome Keeper. Boop, I scram